paper craft tutorial and in this video we will be making this pocket organizer so it's like a folder with accordion pockets do take the time to subscribe turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up for this video i am using this gateway tracing paper and this is in 6065 gsm and the size is 20 by 30. for the record you can use any paper that you want and any size i'll explain that further when we get into the measurements i just personally prefer using tracing paper or vellum because it's like see-through and stuff so it gives a dainty delicate and light look to the final output feel free to use any type of paper you can even use book paper newspaper craft paper or anything that you have there on hand this tracing paper is actually the paper where we print our architectural plans on but you can easily buy this in your local bookstore they come in tubes if you want them in sizes as big as this and I'm using one 20 by 30 sheet and the thing about this is that it's difficult to handle because it rolls back into this form so I'll cut this on the floor off screen but these are the sizes that you will be needing if you want your final output to be as big as mine so my measurements are in centimeters you will need a square one and I'm going to cut them into 30 by 30 centimeters and 16 by 23 centimeters so my square one I'm going to need two of those so that's 30 by 30 and the other one just one sheet of that in 16 by 23 the squares will determine the size of your pocket folder so you can adjust the 30 by 30 to 20 by 20 or 10 by 10 and also adjust the cover which is the 16 by 23 just enough to cover the whole final thing i've pre-cut the tracing paper to the measurements that i have mentioned earlier on and i have put a book over it just to flatten out the rolls so i have my 16 by 23 and i have my two 30 by 30 squares as i've said i wanted it to be of a bigger size so that's why i'm using 30 by 30 but feel free to downsize it to 20 by 20 or 10 by 10 depending on what you need it for now we are going to start with the pockets we will first be working with the squares first we will be making the marks or like guidelines so we will make folds where we have one point meet the other point so that we can have two diagonal lines crossing each other and then i just mark it with a sharp crease because this helps build the integrity of the folds later on when we are done with the diagonals the next step is to fold the parallel sides of the straight edges on each other so you get a cross that passes through the midpoint of the diagonals again run a sharp crease for this as this will be helpful later on when we are forming the pockets then do the same fold on the other parallel side and it should look something like this in the end then the next step is to fold the long side onto the center as you can see on screen and then just press down the folds and then do the exact same for the other side the longer side onto the center so it will look just like this as you see on screen so you'll have like a little dutch door looking fold in the center then turn the thing lengthwise and fold the shorter end onto the center as i am demonstrating on screen then gently press down to make the sharp creases then i turn it over and do the same for the other side so again the shorter end towards the center and then press down on the folds and you will have something that looks like this 
So the next step, watch closely. Grab the corner of the paper which is inside the inner fold. Then pull it outwards so you can make a diagonal fold. Like so. And then when you have that diagonal fold, just press it down. And also again, mark that diagonal fold outwards. So you will have like you will have like a triangle abutment on the side. If that was confusing, here is another fold, and hopefully this is a better view of how to do the folds. So basically again pull out the corner of the sheet and try to make a diagonal as you can see on screen then press down on the diagonal and pull out the corner point of the sheet and then press down on the triangle abutment so it'll look like this you'll have like a little boat shape but then you'll have to do it for all four corners so just repeat the process pull out the corner point press down to create an inner diagonal and then press down the diagonal on the outer part so you get a boat shape and then when you're done doing it for all four corners your paper will look something like this and then the next step would be to pull the outer triangle back inwards. I know it might seem inefficient to pull it out just to put it back in again. But if this is your first time doing this fold, this is the easiest way to explain the process. Because the shorter version is more confusing to explain. But anyway, that's the process that you have to do is take the outer point and just fold it inwards as you can see on screen again you do this for all four corners so i'll just speed up this video a bit but let me just tell you the hard part is over once you're done with this fold because you now have your very first pocket just fold it in through to the center and press it down you finally have your first pocket for your organizer this has like two pockets and then it's subdivided by the folds so technically it can be counted as four slots then i just repeat the process for the other 30 by 30. actually you can have more than two pockets it's really up to you you can have three up to four the largest i've made is four pockets in one folder so feel free to explore with three four five pockets really depends on you don't forget to tag me on instagram i'd love to see how many pockets you decide to use on yours so on screen you can see that i am skipping the boat shape because i sort of like have an understanding of the fold already so i do a little shortcut you can do that too i just basically pull it out a bit and then just fold it back in and fold it inwards further just so i get the final look the longer version and the shorter version gets you to the final output which is what's really important so now i have the two pockets done the first step in the assembly is to put the two pockets that we made earlier together so we're going to do that by applying glue stick onto the face of the fold so i apply generously on the sides and then as much as I can onto the center. It is important to make sure that your openings are all on the same side. So just check and make sure that both openings are facing the same way and just apply or stick the other pocket onto the other pocket and press it down and voila! 
we have our pocket fold connected so as i've said this one is just two you can add a third one or a fourth one and then you can have as many pocket folders as you want so it'll look something like this the next step is to apply the cover onto the pocket folds so before that i need to point this out make sure that your pocket is facing the right direction you want the opening upward and then i do the same as i did earlier on one face of the pocket i apply glue onto the edges and onto the center and then i grab the cover and i stick it onto the pocket folds and then just make sure that it's as center as possible when you're satisfied with it being in the center just press it down so it can adhere to the face of the pocket flip it over as you can see on screen and then i just apply more glue on the other side don't forget to make sure that you get all the edges so they don't open up later on after applying a generous amount of glue i just make sure to apply the cover on the other side and i shimmy it every now and then just so i make sure that all the lines or all the sides are aligned if you're wondering why this cover looks a bit long it's because it is this is about 16 by 30 instead of 23 because i decided to cut it to a shorter length afterwards so after finding the center that i wanted i just cut it off with a scissor and folded it in a bit so you can do this way or have it pre-cut because i measured it afterwards and it was about 23 centimeters you can actually stop here secure it with a washi tape to close the folder or put on those button snaps but for my pocket organizer i wanted to secure it with a eyelet rivet thing so i just punched a hole on the center of the cover then i put in a rose gold eyelet grommet and then I just used my puncher to secure it in place and I'm almost done so basically that's how the organizer looks like so it's all put together and you get all these pockets and I'm just gonna run a yarn through the eyelet I am using Kirk Chenille from Avril Kyoto they are really nice yarns and they have texture to them so i just wrap it twice and i just cut it off and i run a piece of the yarn around the loop or the outlet and just play around with how i want to tie this organizer in place so that's basically it you can be as creative as you want you can leave it as is you can add embellishments it's really up to you you can get as creative as you want let me show you the first one that i made earlier today and this one i'm going to give away on instagram so i'm still adding a bunch of stuff in the pockets and i'm finalizing everything but soon enough i am going to be posting this on instagram and i am going to be giving this to one of my followers because around a couple of days ago i celebrated 20k and i thought it would be fun to do a 21 on 2021 giveaway so this is going to be a surprise i'm going to be sending this happy mail to one of my followers so if you haven't followed me on instagram yet do i'll put the link below otherwise just simply google at chassis on instagram and you'll find my feed so i hope you enjoyed this paper craft tutorial 
if you get to make one don't forget to tag me on instagram thank you for watching this video stay safe and keep well enjoy the rest of your week bye